of his own divine sea of blessing. I have a, a most interesting subject to discuss with you this morning, the singing ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus. In the contemporary scene, atheism is almost invariably understood as an enemy to the work and world of theology. At its best, they merely tolerate each other, and at its worst, it's all out war. Now this view can be seen as at least partially responsible for the dire situation of both academic disciplines. Atheism has largely been reduced to some adolescent positivistic cry against superstition, while theology languishes in the basement of academic institutions as a discipline with about as much insight and credibility as astrology. Thankfully, there have always been academics, activists and artists who have rejected this narrative. Individuals who understand the profound theological significance of atheism. Not only for intellectual life, but also in order to understand and appreciate personal and political transformation. Atheism for Lent is an invitation into that discussion. It's not about theism or atheism. It's not about secularism or the sacred. It's about bracketing all of that out so that we can go somewhere deeper together. This is a decentering practice designed to help you enter into what some mystics call the cloud of unknowing. Now, entering into that cloud can take courage, but I've been teaching this course for over 20 years, and I can promise that that darkness can be illuminating. So forget about forsaking chocolate or television or tiddlywinks this Lent, and join me as we enter into the existential abyss and bear witness to the dark night of the soul. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.